Welcome. This is a reading for Capricorn, <clears throat> for Cardinal Earth, for Cardinal Earth, and we are going to use the Lightseer's deck, and we are going to do a Celtic cross for Capricorn. Oh boy, Capricorn, what's going on with you? There we go. Okay, Capricorn. Now then... Taking this off the side. Can we have an accurate reading, please? For Cardinal Earth. Thank you so much. So we're going to take it off this top, okay? Here we go. I'll turn over the issue. Oh, wow. Interesting issue. Okay. Challenge. Clearing energy. This is interesting. Wow. <laughs> Very. This is definitely your reading, Cappy. Wow. Wow. And I'll just flash this. Oh, this is going to be one interesting reading. Flash. Okay. I'm keeping that. All right. Wow, wow, wow. Boy, nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. All right. Just give me about eight seconds. Capricorn, one thing for sure is that I see a lot of aces, which is wonderful, um, <clears throat> on this spread. Um, a lo I mean, uh, it's quite remarkable. And pages, uh, which herald change. I see victory. Um, anyway, let's just get started. I see a lot of nines as well. Okay, <clears throat> I wonder should we get a rune um, to start? I'm going to get a rune to clarify uh, because what we have at the very beginning, <clears throat> this is interesting, it's the same card that was running uh, through, uh, well, this was Sagittarius in, do you know, I know a Sagittarius <laughs> who likes a Capricorn who looks exactly like this, which is really interesting. Um, anyway, um, so Capricorn, this person here is probably you, okay? It's the it person. It's uh, this person everyone wants to be with the Nine of Pentacles person, um, uh, especially if you're a female because, um, you know, everything that you have, you built up on your own. Um, it's uh, the name of the card is Venus in Virgo, believe it or not, and you know, this person has learned how to live on their own. They like, uh, I mean, they look, they're, she's very happy, obviously. Um, in the original card, the woman has trained a falcon to hunt for her. And I noticed they have a, I think it's a dove um, there. In any case, um, so what is it about this person? She cannot lose. Um, they, they can never lose what they have. Um, now... A lot of people are jealous of them, though. A lot of people are jealous of the person in the Nine of Pentacles. Unfortunately, it can attract people who, you know, uh, it can attract hate. It can attract traitors. Um, it's, it's really uh, sickening. Um, the amount of, uh, you know, personal attacking that I've seen uh, just doing readings for people. And usually when you're standing in that position, you don't really know it. Uh, until, you, you know, until something happens and you realize how many people didn't like you, you know, just, just because you were doing well and helping people. Um, let's get a rune to clarify you in the Nine of Pentacles position. Thank you. Yeah, I'll say you need, this is interesting. Um, it's funny because I know a Capricorn... Uh, uh, I actually gave him um, the rune of Alges once for protection. There were so many people jealous of him. Um, so Alges, um, uh, this just goes right along with my theory about why that card is there. Capricorn, there are people jealous of you. Um, and uh, you do need to protect your energy. And you need to be very wary of these people. All right? What is crossing you, so what's challenging you, is a knight of cups. 
Now we're going to clarify this, but one thing that I always uh, giggle at a little bit when I look at this card, um, you know, as you know, you might hear a lot of readers saying that look out because this could be, you know, this person may make some promises that they can't keep. Um, so, you know, they may be, I, I call him the fake offer guy. He could be the guy who, you know, is all romantic uh, in the beginning and then disappears because he already has somebody. Um, now, what I find really funny about this card, if you think of when people get pulled over uh, in their vehicle and the police suspect them of driving while they're, you know, drunk, uh, and sometimes in some states and in some provinces and some countries, they are allowed to ask you uh, to do uh, sobriety, um, they call it field sobriety, standard field sobriety testing or something like that. Basically, you have to stand on one leg and you know, uh, um, be able to hop uh, and things like that. In any case, I'm sure you've all seen these videos where people um, are being tested at roadside with these, um, with these field tests uh, where they have to stand on one leg and walk a straight line. And when you see somebody who's very intoxicated and you see them trying very deliberately to walk a straight line, <laughs> I, I always think of the horse in this card behind the Knight of Cups. Just look at how he's very deliberately trying to, uh, it's like, sorry about the focus there, guys. <laughs> it's like, I can trot, I can canter. <laughs> What's the matter with this? This person is saying that they can do things uh, that they cannot do, I feel anyway, but let's clarify. Uh, let's see, what will we use to clarify? Let's use the Witch's Tarot. Um, can we clarify the Knight of Cups, please? Um, sorry, my screen looks like it's disappearing. Is the screen disappearing? No, it isn't. Can we clarify the Knight of Cups for Capricorn um, as a challenge, please? Why is the Knight of Cups challenging Cappy? Show us. We're going to use this one, whatever this is. Oh boy, yeah, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the world on the other side. So this person may have said that they're not married or that their marriage is ending. This person could be a Virgo, okay? Um, so it has to do with commitment, okay? Whether they're up for a commitment or not up, that's what I feel, all right? Now, Capricorn, um, or Capricorn, you could be. That could be your challenge that you told somebody you were single and you're actually not. Um, all right, Capricorn, the crowning energy um, is really interesting. This is one of my favorite cards, and I love this card. Um, I, I think this is a, such a good card, the, just the look on her face. Just a second now, if we can get it to focus. Now, you can, you can actually, it's really hard to see if you're looking far away, but her eyes are open. And she's not standing there peacefully. She's standing there with one eye. She is looking very, she's wary. She's wary. And she's standing up straight. She's been through a lot, but she's wary. And her hand is firmly uh, gripping the staff. Um, so I like this card because uh, uh, this particular card uh, and the look expression on her face is perfect and her posture for this, her demeanor and everything, actually, about even the way she's dressed, everything about her is perfect for this card because she looks very, you know, pleasant, you know, um, but she also looks strong. Um, and the look in her eye is she's expecting a certain something, a certain attitude or a certain behavior um, because this person uh, has been there before. They've been through hell and back and they... They're expecting somebody to do something. So let's clarify. I, whenever I see this card, I always wonder what are they wary about, all right? So what are what is that person up there? Because it may not be you, Capricorn. This could be somebody wary of, of something of, that you might, some energy you might be bringing them. What is this person wary of, please? It's called Moon and Sagittarius. What is the lady in the moon of Sagittarius wary of? What it's show me? Thank you. Yeah, I think she's wary of uh, 
being ghosted, being cut off and because of somebody who, who wants to win, who insists on holding in their emotion and saying no time for romance and, and who wants to control everything but who wants to win. Uh, that's what she's wary about. So um, you can reverse the roles as you like. Uh, Capricorn, that's either you or that's your person, Cappy. All right. Now, this energy down here is ego energy. We've got six of wands. Um, I do feel like there is a female out there who has an ego, and I don't feel like it's you, Cappy. I don't know if this could be one of the people um, that Capricorn is dealing with. Um, if you're female Capricorn, I feel like this is a person who's causing you some trouble, you and your person. Um, whenever I look at this card, and I really love uh, this card in the Lightseer's deck, I do think of someone, I mean, she's on stage, okay? She's on stage, and she, you know, look, she has this very, very short skirt, um, and she's loving this attention, loving it. And that wreath there, you know, signifies victory. There's nobody really, to her, the crowd, it's just a bunch. There's nobody really specific out there that it's just everyone. This is a person who wants admiration from everybody. If there is one person that doesn't admire them, they're not happy. This person has an ego. They think of I, they think of me instead of we. Um, I think we are going to clarify this card just a moment. Why do we have Jupiter in Leo down there? So it could be a Leo woman causing Capricorn or you and your person uh, issues. Why do we have Jupiter in Leo down there? Who is this? What are they? What are they to Capricorn? Show me. Oh yeah, it's definitely a fire sign. Definitely a fire sign. It's someone I feel that you've walked away from or that you should walk away from, Capricorn. Uh, we're going we're gonna to find out um, in a moment. We're going to find out. I, okay, Capricorn, I'm telling you what I'm feeling right now. For male Capricorn, I'm feeling like the person who, if you're cross-watching for male Capricorn, here's what I think is going on. I think male Capricorn told you he was single, and I think that he's actually involved with this woman who has the ego, all right? I do think that he's getting rid of her, though, because I'm seeing, I was wondering why this was in the past. I'm seeing, so there's four of wands, that, and that is a fire sign that is Sun, sorry, Venus in Aries. Um, so I think that this person is on their way out the door for Cappy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could, it, I'm seeing Leo energy because um, Leo doesn't have a queen, so they'll come up as the queen of wands. So does Sagittarius. So I don't think it's an Aries. And this, there is no, uh, the, uh, sorry, um, Jupiter in Leo. Um, so the Six of Wands is the middle deacon of Leo. It, it is not any deacon of Sag or Aries. So I think the troublemaker is a Leo. I'm sh if you're a Leo watching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, all right. So this is what I think is going on. If you're a female Capricorn, I believe that a male Leo told you that he was single and he's not. Um, could be a Sag as well. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, what I see in the very near future is fantastic. Because this is one of your cards. This is the Page of Pentacles. Um, now, this is an offer, Capricorn, that is coming to you or that you are about to make to somebody else. Um, it is. It leads, although it may seem insignificant, it leads to the Ten of Pentacles. So if you are cross-watching um, for Capricorn, and this is coming from Capricorn to you, um, and you think it's, it's peanuts, uh, don't, because the Page of Pentacles 
um, uh, again, although it may not look uh, substantial, uh, the intentions are exactly, uh, if you're looking for commitment, that's what, what the intentions are. I am going to clarify, though. <clears throat> Can we clarify the Page of Pentacles in the very near future for Cappy, please? Yeah. This is interesting. Capricorn, I'm seeing somebody waiting for you um, in the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody has invested in you emotionally. They're waiting. This person <laughs> may also have raised their sword to you in the past, perhaps because of that. And this person, um, it could be an air sign. Okay, I'm seeing the Queen of Swords there. It could be any person because, you know, uh, if someone raises their sword, they'll come out uh, as, as that card. But... Um, I think that's exactly what happened, all right? Now then, your tools. Your tools um, are the Ace of Wands. All I can say about this card is that, um, you know, it, it is associated with, all Aces are associated with Keter on the Tree of Life. Um, and what does that mean? It means that an Ace has spirit with it. Um, it's, an, it's an idea, um, it is an incredibly, it's a flash of inspiration um, that, is, that comes from spirit. The idea, though, behind this card is to grab this opportunity when it comes. There, there, there isn't any time to wait and, and, and ping pong back and forth on it. It must be, the opportunity must be accepted and taken when it comes. Um, <clears throat> if your timing is off, um, and it may have been here at Capricorn, because what I'm looking at, the outside influences are the Seven of Wands. Now, I don't like the, the way they've portrayed this card, because I, I don't think it at all, um, at all, except for her posture, um, uh, tr uh, shows us what this card truly means. I think this card, they're referring to inner power, but the Seven of Wands... Uh, which is Mars in Leo, is, is nothing about inner power. It's about uh, denial. Uh, it's about fighting things off. It's about winning. It's about stubbornly standing in a position, maintaining it, defending it, refusing uh, to budge. And, and they do win. They do win. But uh, what, what they do have correct here is the tilt of her head. Um, because the tilt of her head shows that she is slightly misusing that power, um, because you do actually have to call on, on, you know, a little help from above in this card, because, of course, you win. It's six against one. Perhaps the error or whatever has happened, um, whatever mistake Capricorn has made back here to make this person wary is that they were not using um, their heart. You know, they weren't letting. It's not that Capricorn, you don't have a heart. You didn't use it. Um, but I think you will. I think you will because I see this is a very good sign, okay? Um, all right. Now, your hopes and fears. I don't know how on earth this... Well, no, this could be fear knowing you guys. The Ace of Pentacles is in your hopes and fears. Um, interesting. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is an incredibly... Again, this is associated with Keter with Spirit, except the Ace of Pentacles hits every box. Health, healing, wealth, happiness, love. It's literally the source of everything. Um, so this is what you're hoping for. Now, the final outcome card is absolutely fascinating. And do not panic when you see it, because I think I know what it means. We've got the tower, all right? Um, and I have a feeling that this has already happened. Um, th this is, I want you to focus on the lightning here. First of all, focus on the number 16. Sorry, I'm at, or not focusing. It's not focusing on the number 16. Hang on now. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, rats. Hang on. Come on. Okay, just for a split second. Look at the little squirrel. He's like, what the hell? What's going on? Yeah. So, uh, so, number 
15 is your major arcana card. You know, in that card, there were two people who were slaves uh, to the devil. Um, in the tower, in the original card, th there are two people that are clothed and they are being ejected from a tower. They were slaves to their intellect. Uh, they didn't use any spirit, as you know. Um, the tower, you know, it, it goes back to um, the tower, um, you know, the, uh, the Hebrew letter for that card is pay, uh, P-E-H. It means the mouth, okay, using the mouth um, and, and words. And that's why it's associated with the Tower of Babel. People built this high uh, tower, the myth goes in Babylon, so that they could get a shortcut to God. Uh, so they didn't have to pray or meditate or do anything like that. And of course, the, you know, the myth goes that God wasn't happy about that. So uh, while the tower was being built, God decided to make sure that each person doing the building spoke a different language so they couldn't communicate with each other. Of course, the tower came crashing down because they couldn't build it. So um, the whole idea of the tower is that, you know, it, the, the, there's a lightning, a bolt of lightning, okay, that hits the tower. And of course, the tower was an easy target because it was built so high. A tower is going to be an easy target for lightning. The, the lightning is supposed to be um, a flash, you know, a revelation uh, that hits you. It lights up the mind, you know, like, like lightning, you know, when there's lightning going on and you look out um, and you see um, the incredible amount of light that just one flash of lightning can create. The truth always comes in a flash. If you think about it and you're, you know, you think about it, when you have a revelation, sometimes you get that little uh, bolt of adrenaline and you get the truth. I think perhaps, Capricorn, that what's happened here, and we're going we're to clarify, um, is that you may have given this pentacle to the wrong person. Um, you may have been in a little bit of denial. What you were wary of um, actually happened, and, uh, and, and here comes the tower. But of course, remember that it, the tower is a beautiful, um, you know, if, if there are a lot of people um, for example, Ellen Goldberg, who believes that this, this card is a positive revelation. It is a change. Um, you know, it is sudden. It can be painful, but it is very exciting and freeing um, once you can get free of these uh, energies. Um, let's clarify the tower using uh, the witch's tarot, okay? Um, can we clarify the tower? For Capricorn, please. Can we clarify the tower? Show us, please. Wow. I just had a feeling that this is a good tower. So look, Capricorn, if you've had a tower moment or if one is coming up, just know it's going to be good and I'll tell you why. We're introducing the high priestess. I'm sure you know this person. Well, she doesn't speak, all right? It is often everything that we have hidden in our subconscious and we cannot access it. Why? Because we've always, you know, all of us have developed various coping mechanisms uh, for simply surviving. And a lot of people have so many obligations, they just don't have time. You know, no time for romance as in the chariot card that we saw earlier. You know, um, so what happens is that your feelings that you have um, they get uh, put in these various little boxes in our brain, literally. Um, but I think what's happened is, um, obviously, because, you know, when you're unable to access how you truly feel, um, you can end up picking the wrong people, you know. You can end up giving this pentacle to the wrong person. Uh, you can be in denial. You can, you know, be putting your best foot forward and still um, get yourself into a situation um, where, you know, a tower can hit. Um, but here's the wonderful thing. When this tower hits, or, or, you know, if it has hit, it is opening up these um, incredibly beautiful spiritual subconscious feelings for the person that you truly love. 
And this is what ultimately it is going to bring in, okay? Um, it may, may be 10 weeks, 10 months, um, but this tower is, is going to clear out. Uh, it's going to pave the way for this incredible, incredible feeling. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for watching. Let me know if it resonates.